Okay, so what is up, everybody on YouTube? This is once again Two with Gaming HD, and we're back in Farming Simulator 2017. As always, the greatest game, Farming Simulator game in the world, right here. And today, I'm gonna give you inside view on the beating equipment and the potato equipment. So you can see right here, I'm standing right in front of it. I got the beating equipment right here. Sugar beet equipment right here, and I got the potato equipment right over here. So this is what we have at the moment in the game right here. Beautiful machines, and today I'm gonna take you a you on a guided tour throughout this garage of these systems right here. So let's start out in the beginning of the row, <coughs> and that is going to be right here. This is a top cutter. With this you cut up the tops of the sugar beets, you put this on your tractor and it can actually take off the tops on the, the sugar beets. So that is, you have to do this before you can harvest the beets. So this machine right here is pretty good to do that. Then we got a rooster right here, rooster, a grimy rooster. And this is the one that you take up the, the sugar beets with. I can see that it can take up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows. So that's pretty good for a little machine like this. I haven't tried any of these machineries, but I want to. And we, I guess that we're going to do that in the next episode. So just to show you guys this right here, this is the one that you harvest sugar beet with six rows. So you have to put a tractor in front of it, of course. But yeah. And then we have this machine right here. This is actually also a machine that cuts off the tops on the sugar beets. And ma this machine right here, you have to put on this machine right here. I can just go ahead and do it. You can see this machine is big as fuck. Um, so this is a sixth wheeled uh, sugar beet harvester right here. And it's pretty good looking as you can see. Uh, you put on this right here and you can actually uh, unfold it. I'm just unfolding it right here so it's ready to harvest. Just to show you guys how it looks like. And this is how it looks like when it's unfollowed. Unfold. Uh, big ass machine from Holmer. Big, big ass machine. And also a good looking machine. This can actually take a lot of sugar beets. So that's insane. As you can see right here. We're gonna try that out in the next episode. I think that it can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rows of sugar beets in one turn. So that is pretty much guys. That is pretty much. The next machine we got right here is actually a machine to pick up the sugar beets. A new feature in the game is that you can leave the sugar beets on the ground. You can actually empty this machine on the ground. And then you can pick up the sugar beets with this. I'm gonna show you guys later in um, in a few days. So we're gonna start out this machine. This is a little special and I don't know how many folks who are actually using this in real life. I don't know. But I'm just gonna unfold it right here so you guys can see how it looks like. It's a little bit special. So now it's unfolding. Right here you can see this is this is pretty insane right here you can see you can see right there what is going on with this machine this is pretty this is pretty damn sh insane so what it does is to pick up the sugar beets on this put it in like this on the in the mouth right here up 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 in the machine just gonna jump up on it just to show you guys how it works if I can do that so it comes up right here up right there, up on the right here, and then down to the wagon, right here. So that is actually what the machine does. So that's the sugar beet equipment right here. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Some good looking machines. Let's get to the potato equipment. And as we had with the sugar beet, we also have a machine that tops off the, the potatoes. This is a four row topper. So can this one can take the tops of the potatoes and then you can take up the potatoes you can harvest the potatoes with this 
this is a two 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 row uh, potato harvester. So that is what it. This is looking like pretty damn good looking grime. <coughs> yeah, good looking grime potato harvester. Then we got the big grime potato harvester, as you guys know, for the um for the. For the latest version, as tw or 2015 of the uh, farming simulator, uh, we also had this machine in that game, so you guys already know that. But I'm gonna take a look at it anyways. We're gonna unfold it just to show you guys. So this is what the machine looked like in 2017. Actually, the same machine as you can see. Grim Attraction 415. Nothing new there, but this machine can turn on a plate, as I showed you guys earlier on like this and just for fun i took out a little cedar right here that's because we're gonna see the field right now and i'm gonna need a tractor for that and the most track the, the tractor i want to do that with is the case optum with some white tires we're gonna need narrow twin wheels just for fun let's see what that looked like yeah it looks it looks like this man pretty good looking so this cedar right here is the one to see the sugar beets with, so that is what we're going to do now guys. We're going to seed some sugar beets because we want to try out the harvesters and to do that you actually have, have to have a field with sugar beets. So that is what we're doing right now. So I guess it's enough with this little field right here. So we're just going to put on the sugar beet option which is this one. And this field should be ready to be seeded, as you can see right here. So we're just gonna leave this on, turn it on. And it is actually going and it's seeding sugar beets right now, as you can see right here. A good looking seeder and a good looking setup this. We got the Case IH Optum with twin wheels on. We got the Horsch, Horsch Maestro. Uh, sugar beet cedar, cedar right here and it's actually going pretty well there so um, that's that's looking nice I guess <coughs> um, yeah so maybe in the next episode we are going to be ready to harvest the sugar beets I don't know yet but right now we're gonna take uh, a little run up to the to the sheeps up here okay so we don't have a wagon we don't have a forward wagon anymore I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take another tractor which is down by the store and this is this one right here I can that that's because I need some grass for my for my sheeps so I guess that we're going to um, tapes take some grass up to them and to do that I need a forward wagon loading wagon as it's called gonna take the biggest one right here and I actually I actually have some grass that's already cut down over here so I just need the wagon just to get real quick with it whoops just to put it on right here and then we should be able to go to the field oh shit Just gonna need the help when the ones again, lower pickup, turn off, and we're gonna go to the field which is right over here. <coughs> and on this field, I already got some grass that's cut down. As you can see, I got something laying around. So we're gonna turn on the forest wagon, and then we're gonna take up the grass right here, which is pretty simple. It is actually pretty pretty simple. So that is what we're doing right now. I guess that I don't have, I only have one lane right here, so that's not so much. But it's probably enough for the sheep, I guess. So just gonna take it all right here. And yeah. So just taking up everything that we just can in this field and turn off lift pickup then we're gonna go up to the to the sheep farm which is right up the road 
Um, so that is where we're gonna go now. <coughs> it's just up here. You have to go straight ahead right here. Um, and go right down here, I guess. Just straight ahead right here. Uh, that's actually a sugar beet farm right there. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that, guys. Then we're already ready to go with the sugar beet harvest. No, that. The reason why I don't want to buy this uh, is because you can see right here. Because when it's not uh, in a, I don't know how to call it, how to say it, but when it's not, when it's not a square. The worker, which you, if you hire a worker, the worker is having some struggle by harvesting this because he actually thinks he's done when he comes to this spot right here. I don't know if I explained that right, but some of you guys may, might, uh, might know. I don't know, but I know that the workers usually fucks up if the field is not a square. So if the field has some triangles on it. It's not good for the higher worker option because they can't really figure out when they're done and so on, and that's a little bit. That's too bad for the game, I guess. We, uh, we live in 2017, 2016, so the game should be good enough. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna get up to the sheep right here, just gonna go right or uh, left. Sorry, guys, I can't really. Figure out or oh, is left or right? I don't know, but ooh, anyhow, we are on the way up to the sheep right now. Just gonna empty this grass section right here into the sheep farm, so that's going to be a good thing, I guess. Um, yeah, just gonna put it up right here, and you can see there's actually a lot of grass. That's because I unloaded it. Uh, before you could, you can actually unload the grass on the ground right now uh, in 2017, so that's a little bit strange. But I guess that this is going to be right. Yeah. So they just got everything, as you can see right there. Let's see how much they got. 1600. That's good. Productivity. The productivity should be in 100%, but it's not. What? Okay, that's a little bit strange, but yeah, I don't know why. But you can see the productivity is a 9% right now. That's not so much, actually. Um, that's a little bit strange. I don't know why it doesn't work. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you guys a little walkthrough of the sugar beet harvesting equipment and the potato harvesting equipment. So this is going to be it right now, I guess, guys. So once again, thanks for watching, guys. It's a pleasure to deliver videos like this for you guys. So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. And of course, give me a comment down below, uh, ask me anything, um, say what you want about the video, say what you want me to do in the future. So yeah, that is Tubus Gaming HD and we are going to turn off for now. Bye guys.